good morning world. It is it's about 5, um, 5.30 a.m. About getting ready to go to the lab and run the first session of the day at the gym. And we are, this is the first week of full out Ironman training right now. So today is swim day um, and I'm feeling pretty good in the water. Swam a few days ago, ran last night, biked yesterday as well. And so we're building up, man. And first week, like, I'm getting sore. Even though I did Calendar Club, we're getting sore. So I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit today about sports performance and weight training and how the two relate, okay? Because I believe that no matter what sport you're doing, we should be adding some sort of weight training to it to elevate your performance and take it to the next level. We're starting the day off today with what I do every single day we got some oatmeal about two-third cups oatmeal and then two-third cups berries we're gonna throw in my favorite protein powder ever that muscle feast whey protein isolate and today we got pumpkin spice baby all right we at the gym we got some of our awesome ladies showing up today turn on some lights it is deadlift day today right Shelly it's deadlift. It's deadlift day, show you stuff. Oh yeah, Pam's belted, dude. Let's go. Shit, Mike's over here doing the big waves, baby. Where we at today, Mike? That was one of those workouts where people are just making gains. Making gains. Yeah. All right, we're gonna bring it in. We got Thunder Thursday. Woo! Pam, where are you? I'm right here. Okay. Right. Gail, Pam, Mike, Shelly, freaking beast. Thunder Thursday on three. One, two, three. Thunder, Thunder Thursday. Thursday! Woo! Good job, guys. Good job. Thank you. All right, baby. 6 a.m. crew absolutely crushed today. We're at Starbucks right now. Doing a little programming for my one-on-one -on -one clients today. And you know, my favorite, favorite coffee right here. It's the nitro cold brew with the sweet caramel cream. It's only about 50, 70 calories. And we're feeling hungry this morning. That oatmeal just wasn't doing it. So we got the egg white bites right here. About to uh, throw those into my fitness pal and log the macros on there because I track my nutrition every single day and I want to count for everything that goes in my body. Um, I want to know where my fats, my carbs, my proteins are at all times. Every single day I also send out um, an at-home workout to all of our members so if people can't make it to the gym we give them some programming that they can do at home on their own. We do have a few members that just train on their own at home so we're gonna whip, whip that up real quick, send that email out. Um, gonna be running the 9 a.m. class today and looking forward to pushing some new people that are in that class and helping them get past their limits. Oh yeah, boom. All right, we back at the lab, baby. 9 a.m. session, about to happen. All right, Huntley's in the building. This dude's lifting some big weight today. Oh, hey, here we go. Here we go. Here we, go. Woo, we got Johnny and Haley over here. Oh, boy. oh Haley's been <laughs> Haley's been with me since the beginning, dude. Uh, we did uh, our very first powerlifting comp together. Hell yeah! And we, yeah, we both won our division. We did. And we're, did we're setting setting the state records, yo. Oh, yeah. 
And she's a badass firefighter, dude. She just got off shift. Boom! That's how we do it. <laughs> yeah. That's how we do it. Johnny. How do you? Let's get. Johnny, tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, let's see. <laughs> I'm retired, and I've been coming to the gym for almost two years. And you're strong as shit. And now. I'm strong, and I'm a senior citizen, and I'm still strong. Yeah, I'm getting stronger. Yep. Running half marathons, just doing yes. big things. Spartan. Yeah, Spartan races. Dude, so Johnny is a complete badass. Amazing example of somebody who had some doubts coming in. Now she's in the best shape of her life. Boom. Honey, stop trying to get more jacked than me, dude. Stop. <laughs> Barbara, Barbara's trying to get away from the camera today. <laughs> Barbara's amazing. Barbara, you've been training with us for like two, two years. years. Yeah. yeah, two years. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's coming back from a little spill, yeah. but like, she's stronger. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, we gotta get this going. Hell yeah. Mustache is still there, but we got a fresh haircut. My boy Isaac lined it up. It's about 11 a.m. About to go up to the rec center and get my swim workout done for Ironman training today. So sports performance training, adding in strength training, a strength training regimen to supplement whatever sports that you are trying to, you know, excel at. So strength training is one of those things that is going to help every single athlete take their sport and their performance to the next level. You're always going to want to practice that sport and put the, more, the, the most volume in at the thing you want to excel at. So if I wanted to be you know, a top marathon runner or a top triathlete, I'm not going to strength train five days a week and then work on you know, swimming, biking, and running just three days a week. The strength training portion is there to supplement the sports that you want to be great at, all right? So it's not there to take over, it's not there to take away from that training, but it's there to work on the weaknesses that you might have, the imbalances that your body might have developed over the years from doing that specific sport or training. Um, and it is there to just get, it is there to make you as, it is there to um, help you excel and also, you know, just get stronger at your strengths. So, so the strength that we develop in the weight room is gonna, it's gonna transition directly into whatever sport you want to take to the next level and you want to excel at. All right. So, yeah, in my opinion, you know, strength training and a regimen is there to supplement. The sport that you want to excel at, it's not there to take away from that sport. All right, it's about 3 p.m. Wasn't planning on taking a nap today, but it just kind of happened. So it is 3 p.m. We're starting that swim about an hour later than usual. Um, but dude, I listened to my body, and I was up at like 4:45 this morning. Trained really hard yesterday. Two workouts, no, three workouts yesterday, and I got home. I was supposed to go for the swim. I was like, dude. Just take a nap you're gonna do way better so we took a nap and it is freaking go time so what I'm opening up here this is my favorite electrolyte drink fuel with this every single day this is the uh, muscle feast electrolyte they're hydrate so performance adding strength and conditioning in to improve your performance at sports I was just thinking about it and kind of the opposite as well is adding in for me, adding in swimming to my weekly routine um, helps me recover and it also helps me with little injuries, aches and pains that I have. For some reason when I get in the pool and I go through a swim workout, I don't know if it's like the anti-gravity or just being weightless in the water and taking your body through just amazing ranges of motion, but every time 
I get out of the water in the pool, if I have back pain, knee pain, joint pain, it just feels so much better. Sick, we are just arriving. The WWE Rec Center. So this is where I graduated college back in 2000, 2014, I think. So a little while ago. Um, but I love coming up here because this is where the dream started right here. This is where I was in that building, right over there, drawing up gym plans, visualizing that someday I was gonna own my own gym or personal training studio. And I remember at the time I was thinking, man, I'm never gonna have enough money to start my own gym. But I thought at some day, some point I was gonna make it happen. And two years after graduating college, that dream became a reality. So I love coming up here because it reminds me that, you know, all the hard work you put in, those dreams that you have, you just gotta believe. You gotta take massive action and they will come true. So this beautiful facility, rec center where I'm about to get my swim on. We're gonna do 500 meter warm up, and then five 200 meter intervals, about um, 10 second rest in between each interval. And then we're gonna end with 10 100 meter intervals, one fast, one steady, one fast, one steady back and forth. So it's gonna be a ball and workout. Then we're back to the gym for some work, some fun work. Hopefully changes some lives tonight, but let's go swim. Ooh, baby, hi. Right. Swim is done. We got 25, 2,500 meters in. Ooh, this is like the bombest pool ever. Yeah, what? WWU, best pool ever. Stoked that I'm alumni. I get a train here. Ooh, we're on the home stretch of today. Kind of, 6.45, back to my gym. The lab, baby. Woo, we got Alex down there. All-star freaking trainer. She is a goddamn beast. Teaching her 6.30 class. And I am getting done eating some just plain eight ounces of bison and white rice right now. It's one of my go-to go -to meals right here. And I'm feeling super dehydrated from the swim. So we're trying to hydrate before Nathan comes in and I die filming my three top CrossFit workouts tonight. So, let's get back to strength and conditioning and sports performance, all right? If you're not, if you're a runner, cyclist, skier, snowboarder, any athlete that is not adding in weight training to their weekly exercise regimen, you are missing out, okay? So some of the benefits of adding in weight training to your exercise protocol. Not only are you gonna strengthen the muscles that you want to strengthen to perform better at your sport, but you're gonna be creating denser bones. Your bone density is gonna be up, be going up if we're lifting correctly. You're gonna be strengthening your ligaments, your tendons, your joints, and just your entire muscular structure and your skeletal structure, okay? So if you're not doing consistent weight training, we're missing out on those benefits right there. So why is that important you know why should you worry about dense bones stronger ligaments stronger tendons bulletproof joints i mean it's pretty obvious because it's going to reduce your risk of injury baby yeah. 